hello everyone today i'm going to show you how we can create a simple workflow using microsoft power automate i'm not going to explain what microsoft power automate is and what are the capabilities and what are the different kinds of uh, flows uh, 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 do we have uh, when it comes to creating new uh, uh, processes or we call flows uh, I'm going to show you how you can get started quickly. There are plenty of videos uh, talks about what Power Automate is and what are the different uh, flows available. Um, so today I'm going to show you um, if you are a beginner, uh, how you can get started with Power Automate. Uh, and one of the interesting uh, feature in Microsoft Power Platform is uh, we get bunch of templates where you can get started quickly. So let me first um, uh, set the stage, uh, explain the use case that I'm going to show you today. Uh, so my requirement is uh, I have a Dropbox, so we all use Dropbox uh, in day-to-day -day activities. Um, so I do have a folder called Drops in my Dropbox um, account. Um, so time to time I would uh, upload files into this uh, drop storage. Uh, so what I want to do is once I upload a file into this uh, Dropbox uh, account, I want to automatically copy that file into my uh, a SharePoint uh, a library called Drops um, uh, so that I can run some other processes on top of it, so I can run some approvals on top of it uh, and I can take it from there. Right. So you may um, do information exchange between other parties through uh, various channels like Dropbox, OneDrive um, and file servers and file shares. So I'm going to show you how you can uh, streamline, how we can automate uh, this information exchange process uh, using Power Automate. Um, so let me go to Power Automate and if you go to uh, My Flows, um, you will be able to see there are different kind of flows that you can create cloud flows desktop flows and then under solutions we have uh, uh, another uh, category as well uh, so i'm going to go into templates so templates is a very uh, uh, nice and rich set of uh, reusable uh, templates uh, where you can get started very quickly right so uh, there are a bunch of templates depending on the scenario you can go and pick one of them and customize the way you want. Uh, so I'm going to search um, Dropbox and SharePoint combination. Uh, so then I have a template called copy files between Dropbox and SharePoint. So let me take that. And then you will see uh, it basically a template which automates copying files between Dropbox and uh, SharePoint. Right. So as the next step, I need to configure the connection. So I have already connected my Dropbox account and the SharePoint account. So if not, you will have option called sign in over here so that you can sign in and give uh, access to your account, right? So let's say continue and then you will get the template. Uh, so now what you need to do is you need to basically uh, uh, update this flow with your own parameters, right? So when a file is created in Dropbox, so in, in Dropbox, in, in which uh, a folder, so that's what you need to uh, provide here. Uh, so in the Dropbox account, I have a Drops folder. Uh, so when a file is created over here, so you can also look at the interval settings. So you can configure the frequency, how often you want to go and read this folder, every, every minute, every hour, uh, or you can set a particular uh, schedule as well. And there are also a bunch of other settings that you can configure. Um, so once you do that, uh, the next step is you need to configure where you want to put this file into in the SharePoint, right? So I do have a, a, a website, SharePoint site uh, under this URL. And under that, I have a bunch of uh, uh, libraries. So I have a library called Drops. So I want to uh, put this file into this uh, location. And it automatically takes a file name and file content as parameters. So in this case, if you want to provide more parameters, you can uh, you can uh, uh, go and configure them uh, as well. And then there are a bunch of settings as well uh, where you can explore. 
so now my flow is ready so what i can do is i can save the flow and um, uh, so the, uh, it says copy files between dropbox and sharepoint the, the the flow is uh, ready so let me quickly go into this uh, uh, dropbox uh, and uh, let me try to uh, uh, upload a file uh, uh, from the computer uh, let me take this um, let me take a smaller file rather um, yeah I'll copy this now it's uploading the document so uh, what happens is as you already noticed uh, there is a particular interval uh, so in, in my case it's 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 a minute so it's it automatically runs the workflow so you can basically uh, go into um, power automate uh, uh, home page and then this is my flow uh, copy files between dropbox and sharepoint so this is the overview page um, this is the owner status is on created on this particular date uh, and then it will show you the run history for the last 20 days right um, so let's refresh uh, so now I have my first run it has executed nine seconds ago um, and these are the connections that I have in this flow uh, so let's go into this run and then it will show you okay it has executed these three steps in the uh, flow um, uh, as it, it indicates over here um, and also you will be able to uh, see uh, mm. some other informations like process mining some insights so it's under preview um, and then you can actually go into the SharePoint and you will be able to refresh and see um, the file is already copied into my SharePoint library uh, so as you can see you can leverage uh, these templates uh, that are there in the power automate uh, and you can uh, you can easily create a business process you can easily create a workflow or rather flow uh, uh, with the help of these templates so thank you very much and then we'll uh, uh, see again in in uh, in in a future video uh, chapter thanks